A tree diagram will give us a visual way to use the multiplication principle in more complicated problems, and also in the easier problems. We're going to write a decision tree to keep track of the conditional probabilities as we go along, and then multiply along the branches to find the total probability. An example of how this works will be the following. The Indiana delegation for the U.S. House of Representatives has nine members. Seven of them are Republicans and two are Democrats. There are two females and they are both Republican. What's the probability that a randomly selected representative is a male Republican? This problem by itself isn't that difficult, but it'll give us a way of using a tree and show you how it works. So the first decision that we have to make is whether the randomly selected person is either Democrat or Republican. They have to be one of these two, and so they're going to fit into one of the two categories. The probability that this person is a Democrat is 2 out of 9. 2 of the 9 people are Democrats, and then the remaining 7 out of 9 are Republicans. Now we're going to split the Democrats and Republicans into males and females. So from each of these two different places, we're going to put two branches. We have male and we have female. The probabilities that go on each of these branches will be conditional probabilities. They depend on the previous branch, the one that we were looking at before. For the first branch up here, the probability will be the probability that the re representative is male, given that they're Democrat. Both the females are Republican, so this is all two of the Democrat re representatives. So two out of two, which makes this zero out of two. Then for the Republicans, there are seven Republicans, Five of them are male, and two of them are female, so five-sevenths and two-sevenths. To find the probability we were looking for now, male and Republican, we're going to multiply along the branch for branches that satisfy the given event. In this case, there's exactly one branch that works for us. It's the Republican branch that fo is followed up by the male branch. So we multiply along those branches, that's just the multiplication principle, and we get seven-ninths times five-sevenths, or just five-ninths, which is 0 .55, that should be a six. Another example will be a little bit more complicated, but it's still the same principle. I have this deck of cards. There are 11 cards in total, three reds, three browns, three greens, and two other colored cards, which are called dreams. And I want to know what the probability that if I draw two cards, the second card is going to be red. We're going to approach this as a tree, but first let's take a look at the two different things that could happen. The first card may not be red. In this case, the probability that the second card is red will be something. We can figure that out. It's possible that the first card could have been red, though, and that'll change the probability that the second card is also red. We're going to set this up drawing a tree. Our first card that we draw, card number one, has only two options. Either it could be red, or it's not red. So we split it up into two branches. The first branch will be red, and the second branch will be not red. You could also have split this up into more branches for the greens and the browns and the dreams, but it's not going to change how the answer works out, so this will be simpler. Now we need the probabilities, and so the probability it's red, there are three out of the eleven cards that are red, and eight that aren't. Our second card now can either be red or it could not be red. We get the same choices here. Each of these probabilities now will be conditional though. We're going to find them based on the number of cards left in the deck. So we pulled a card already. Out of the 10 cards left, two of them are red for this upper brancher, which means my probability is 2 out of 10, and then 8 out of 10 for the other. For the second branch, if the first card wasn't red, three of the remaining cards are red, so three out of ten and seven out of ten. Now I want to find the probability that the second card was red. So out of all of these branches, I need to pick out the ones that give me the second card being red. There are two branches that do this, so we're going to pick out both of them, and then we're going to add the two results together. The first branch is three elevenths times two tenths by the multiplication principle, and the second branch is going to be eight elevenths times three tenths. So we multiply these and then we add and we end up with our result which is going to be 30 out of 110 or three elevenths.